All right, folks, we got a special Saturday, special buy today. Some pretty good deals, nothing too crazy. Uh, we saw this one during the holidays, right? I want to say it was like five fifty nine. So you're saving a hundred bucks. You're really not saving three hundred and seven. You know, if you itemize everything out at four fifty nine, you know it's not a bad deal. I don't know why they would put the old dinosaur of the brushed oscillating tool. Now it's it's a fine tool. Don't get me wrong, but you know if you want a pro to kind of get this, and that's uh, I don't know why you wouldn't put the brushless in here, but whatever. All right, so there's some deals with the Brad Nailers. You know, here it is with the glasses. You got some pass loads here. All right, 30 degrees here. Um, you're going to have some deals with the f newer framing nailer. Now, this was a good deal. And again, you're basically getting these for 200 a piece. But remember, during the holidays, they had a free five with this. And you got pretty close to like max value. I think it was like 150 off. So I think it came like 450 for all three of these. Obviously for that price, 150 tool, pretty good. All right, here's two uh, Brad Nailer kit. All right, they have a pretty good deal if you're looking for the new framing nailer. If you're a contractor or carpenter, you know, January, February, might be spending money now for your, you know, for the entire year to get some new tools, some new equipment for the guys or whatever. Pretty good deal because you're going to get two sixes uh, with a, as well. I'll show you that here. And this is pretty good. Not that you would use an eight amp hour battery with a Brad nailer. You just don't need it. A two, a three amp hour battery is fine. Uh, you don't want to make this thing that heavy. Uh, but for other tools, you know, you, you're getting it. Or you could sell it and bring your Brad nailer down a little bit. Uh, here is the 15 gauge finish nailer, I believe. Or this could be the framing nailer. Let me see, let's see, take a look. It's the old finish nailer. And I don't think they redesigned the finish nailers. Um, there was really never any problems with them. I have the 15-gauge finish nailer. I love it. I know they did the Brad nailer. They kind of totally redesigned it. Obviously, they came out with the pin nailer, the 12-volt pin nailer, and, of course, the framing nailers. Um, but $349, you are going to get a free orbital sander. You know, that's $100. You know... Again, you're basically getting a free orbital sander here for three forty nine. So I think this um, uh, actually the finish nailer has dropped, but I want to say normal MSRP when this was at its height was like three twenty nine. All right, you can kind of get them two seventy nine. They run deals now, but you know, and here it is with the. Um, brand new brushless uh, oscillating tool or you could save 50 bucks and get the brushed I would probably spend the extra 50 this is a good deal here 539 now remember um, not a bad deal because again I want to say the framing nail or it's like when it came out I want to say the MSRP was like 379 349 all right, so you know, three fifty, right there. And I want to say the um, rear handle was is two ninety nine bare tool. Again, we've seen a lot of deals with this rear handle lately, but that was really just bare tool. Now, obviously, we've done a lot of hacks with it, but you're getting two sixes here too. So again, for the carpenter, you know, this makes a lot of sense. Or again, if you're just a DIYer, and you just really want the framing nailer. Um, I'm sure you can get 300 bucks for the rear handle and give up one of the sixes. So for you know 239, you're gonna get a six and the framing nailer. So not a bad deal here. I like it.
I like it. All right, here it is with the rocket light. All right, four seventy nine, four seventy five. I don't know where the four dollars is. And here's another good one again. You're gonna get the uh, thirty degree, and I think the twenty one degree, and two sixes for six nineteen. Pretty good. Um, and actually with this one, this is the eight right here with the Brad Nailer. I think I did mention that. Obviously the eight and the six look the same, but this is the eight. And these are the sixes. Let's just make sure here. Because if they're eights, yeah, two six, it would be great. All right, we're loading. All right, 475, you're going to get the older rotary hammer here. Again, $4 difference. I don't know what's going on. Uh, 475 for the new non orbital action or the non super sawzall. Basically, your Gen 2 uh, resip. Beautiful saw. I like it. If you don't really need orbital action, um, you know, 475 with two six is pretty good. No, we're, it's all nailers, guys. That's basically what the theme is today. Here it is with the chainsaw. All right, again, the chainsaw, 449 bare tool. All right? So, you know, for another 150 bucks, you're getting two sixes and a framing nailer. So if you just want the chainsaw, I mean... You know, you can sell, I'm sure, two sixes and the framing nailer for like three fifty. Right? So this is gonna cost you, you know, two fifty instead of four forty nine. Or you can keep them both, yeah. Here is the stubby eighteen volt. All right. I don't know what these same with the different maybe oh well probably one is a twenty one okay so when we see these for the four dollar difference one is the thirty degree one is the twenty one degree I guess there's a price difference when you run these deals I don't know here's the compressor with a pair of glasses this thing is kind of you no know, I don't really know too many people that like this compressor um, but. 279 here's the pin nailer or excuse me it's the crown stapler all right 18 volt obviously the pin nailer is 12 volt whoa 269 it sold out i doubt this was ever available it's, it's probably just some type of mess up here because the same kit is up here for 475 i don't know we got the dewalt boots we got a gun safe here's some halogen dewalt work boots steel toe again when these are on sale you're not gonna find them I mean, this is really i've never seen these this cheap usually these are around like 65 75 bucks i mean 48 bucks for steel toe boots that's pretty incredible you got milwaukee shirts you got some hoodies they make pants now i believe they're coming out with work boots um, I think we're going to see them this year. I think, unless they're released already, I don't think so. I think I saw some pictures though. Here's some gloves. You got the demolition gloves down to thirteen bucks. All right, these are great gloves. Uh, here's the impact gloves. I got these too. My my favorite gloves are still the demo. I think most comfortable gloves. Uh, here are some cut resistant ones. We got some uh, multi-purpose valve respirator 10-pack. That's a pretty good deal. You're getting 10 of them. Here's a 40-pack here. I must have hit the wrong one, but 10-pack for, um, what was it, 14 bucks? So $1.50 a mask, pretty good. I mean, with this one, it's $2 a mask. 
So if you would need 40, I would go this route. <laughs> right? Just buy four of these instead of this. Pretty weird. Usually they're cheaper the more you buy. Here's some earplugs and some glasses. Here you got the new um, red lithium uh, flashlight. You got a two-pack here. That's really good. Two batteries. Uh, I have the 700 lumen, and I got this one. I do have a video. I don't think I ever posted it because I, I can't find my 700 lumen light. And to finish the video, I wanted to do a comparison, but I can't freaking find it. Maybe I'll just post it. Here's some other lights here. Here's some long sleeve. This is sold out. This is probably all. Here's some Defiant Deadbolt um, Wi-Fi lock. 229 Here's some different locks here. 94 bucks. All right, I'm not going to go into this stuff here, all right? But some pretty good deals, obviously, with the nailers. You got the Brad. You got one or two uh, finished nailers, but they're mostly the new framing nailer. So uh, some pretty good deals, considering what we've been seeing, all right? So have a great weekend. Tell me what you think tomorrow, guys. Who's going to win the two games? I got Cincy. And I, I don't know. I, I think San Francisco. I'm really, I just have a gut feeling. Cincy and San Fran. Just like the Super Bowl with Boomer and Joe Montana. We'll see. Peace.